All right, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna take a look at all three of the cold Ashes of War in Elden Ring. I had some really good feedback on my previous videos about locations where I was trying to test and, and getting hit by multiple mobs at once and making it pretty hard for people to see what was going on. So I've changed my location. Hopefully this is better for you guys. We're just gonna attack this um, land octopus here. He pretty much just stands still, so it'll be a good uh, good way to showcase the abilities. All right, the first ability we're gonna take a look at is called Hoarfrost Stomp. Stomp hard to spread a trail of freezing mist on the ground. The mist applies the frost status effect. This ability was extremely overpowered until about two days ago in patch 1.03 where they nerfed it significantly. It's still a decent option, but it's definitely not a game-breaking ability like it was before. Hoarfrost Stomp can be found on the north side of the map in this tiny little lake here, just north of the academy. There's this lake, there'll be an invisible scarab there, you just kill him and it'll drop. So for the weapon's ability, it just lets out this big AoE of frost. And this will apply the cold status effect and it will build up freezing on the enemy. So once that procs, it does quite a bit of damage. It's not doing a ton of damage anymore like it was, but it still is doing decent damage. It's mostly just good, I think, for farming AoEs of mobs or, or that kind of thing. I probably wouldn't use this as my main ability anymore. Alright, the next ability we're going to take a look at is called Ice Spear. Skill of the warriors who served Lunar Princess Rani. Spin armament to release cold magic, then channel it into a piercing spear of ice. The ice spear is found just east of the academy um, on this bridge here. There'll be a Knight's Cavalry boss right here. Right as you go into the water, you just kill him and he will drop the Sashes of War for you. So this is a ranged ability. The range on it is moderately short, so you have to be about within this distance but it does a ton of damage. It costs quite a bit of mana. But it's chunky the health compared to the last ability that we looked at. So this is probably five or six times the damage that the last ability was. Alright, and then the third Cold Ashes of War that we're going to take a look at is called Chilling Mist. Chilling Mist is dropped on the north side of the map, just south of Rena's Rise in this little ruins here. There'll be a Teardrop Scarab, just kill him and it will drop for you. So this will coat your armament in frost and then slash spreading frigid mist forwards. The armament retains its frost for a while. So this one is extremely short range. You have to be pretty much right up in your enemy's face and it's got a really long cast time. The effect does hang around for a while though. Like if I was to cast it right here, it wouldn't it wouldn't hit him. But it does coat the armament in frost, which helps us with our frost buildup when we go melee. So if I was going to use this one, I would probably just use it for the coating the armament and frost. The actual ability itself is kind of weak. It's very short range, has an extremely long cast time, and it doesn't really do a lot of damage. We also did testing on other Ashes of War. If you're interested in blood, click on this video here. And for lightning, click on this video here. I appreciate everybody watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm. And I hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.